We are live. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, my name is Monica Campana with the Wellness Hub, where we are interviewing wonderful, wonderful entrepreneurs from all over the world who are in the field of health, wellness, and nutrition, and who are really helping people. These are all people helping people. And uh, today we have a wonderful guest. Her name is Latosha Watkins, all the way from New York City. And uh, she's going to tell us her background, what she's been doing, and what she is offering right now um, to help people in the, in the field of health. So Latosha, thank you for being here. The floor is yours. Hi, good morning, Monica. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Latasha Watkins, as Monica just said. My, the name of my company is The Strive for Excellence. I'm a motivational life coach. Uh, I have a background in human behavior, which I decided to do after a long period of doing medical work. I happened to fall into mental health and decided to go back to school and study human behavior. And once I did that, I realized that I really didn't want to be a therapist, but I really wanted to help people. So I pivoted my career over to life coaching. I went back to school again, became certified, and um, here I am today. And I'm willing to help anyone that's wanting to be motivated and stuck and feeling eh in these new times. Yeah, and these are tough also, times, exactly. Yeah. And and what yeah. are you doing? You're offering some special uh, class now coming up. When when is it? Yeah, we have a new program that's coming out. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month or by the beginning of January. It's called Purposeful Pathways. It's a truly unique learning platform where people feel heightened, empowered, in a place of love, where you can feel like you belong to something, and people are not there to judge you. You'll be connected to all sorts of life coaches, inspirational coaches, uh, meditation coaches, ethical coaches, any kind of coach that you're, willing, you're wanting to work with or you feel like you may want to invest in yourself with it will be available at our weekly meetups. We have the beta program that's starting the end of the month, which is free for now, which is a free program for now that introduces our program to the world. Well, that's wonderful. I want to try it. And is there, we need to, I need to add the, the link on the, on the post, right? I don't think, sure. oh, is it on your web, is it on your website or? It's, it's on specific... my website. Okay. It's on, it, it's on my website. Okay. It's connected to my website. Okay. The Strive so... for Excellence. It's, the, it's connected to my website. I love and the I name. Love to... I love the name. <laughs> I love the name. That's what I want everyone to do. I want everyone to strive for excellence. That's all we can do in these times is strive to be the best person that we can be. Exactly. That's all we can do. Exactly. And I don't. I want to help as many people as I can feel wonderful about being here because it's a lot of people that are not here in 2021 that were here in 2020. So we have to celebrate our existence at this point. Exactly. We have to celebrate it and we have to be uh, um, aware that uh, there are many people also that that went through and are still going through tough times and uh, and find ways yes. to help them you know it's yes. uh, it's uh, yes. so what are the uh, let's say the you know the i don't know like five tips that you would give to to people uh, who are you know feeling maybe stuck they don't know what to do you know maybe they have to uh, change something drastically now because they were used to a way of of even working and, and living and now things are, are changing drastically. So what do you, what do you suggest? What, what are the tips that you would give them? The tips that I would give someone to stay motivated is just stay positive, live, say yes to yourself. It's okay to say yes to yourself. If you're feeling, I have a saying, uh, you can, it's okay to be bad. Being bad means not necessarily being facetious or mischievous, but being bad means celebrate yourself. If it's something, if it's something that you want to not necessarily do in these times, but if it's something that makes you feel good, if it's something that is someone, a book, 
uh, quote and a program. I usually hang quotes up around my house to make myself feel motivated through the day to feel like, okay, it's okay. Okay, and it's going, I'm going to get through today. And feeling stuck and unmotivated, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. You feel like you're going on a hamster wheel around and around. So what we do is we say we're going to transform through have habit change. One small habit can change your life dramatically. One, like, just one. Start with just one. One small one. habit. Just one small habit change. I, I like in health, we say just drink more water. If you drink more water, that's one small step to getting to where you want to be in health. A lot of people think, oh, I drink water, but you may not drink enough water enough. and you can drink too much water. You can drown yourself with water. You can wash all the nutrition out of your body with water. So we have to be careful. Water is, it helps our bodies, but it can hurt our bodies as well. So we have to have that median. We have to learn the Medium. What is it? Six cups, six cups a day. Uh, no, actually, you're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces. Half your body day. weight. Wow. Huh. So if you weigh a hundred, two hundred pounds, you're supposed to drink a hundred ounces of water a day. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, that's that's exactly wonderful. Right. One small habit because sometimes we're like, oh, you know, it's like so complicated. I have to do this. I have to do that. Yeah. Well, start with one. Yeah. One. one thing one thing at a time you yeah, do that one then you add one more that's yes idea. we say we take one small step one small step at a time because people when you try to change their lives dramatically they tend to feel overwhelmed and they run and they hide and they're like oh my god I don't want to I don't want to change my life dramatically I don't I love my life I that's not my problem I just want to get motivated but you don't understand that small hinges swing big doors If you change one small thing, it can change something so dramatic in your life that it would be phenomenal. You, you wouldn't even realize that that one small thing was holding you back. Yeah. And then one thing, what do you think about this? Like, for example, uh, some people have, have uh, uh, hobbies. I mean, pick up a hobby, you know, look at, uh, I don't know, Pinterest or uh, even, even on TikTok, you look at TikTok videos are like, oh, wow, this is so cool. Yeah. I want to do it smile. and do yeah. it and and do it. You know, not just watch yes and just waste yourself. time watching, yes. but, you know, sit down and say, you know what? I'm going to do that project. I'm going to draw. Yes. I'm going to paint. I'm going to create this thing. Something different than you can 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 kind of shake you off. And, and yes, and, and you know, yeah. And move you into a better space. Yeah. And these times we need to be motivated to move into better spaces. A lot of us are working from home. We're not used to working from home. The children are home. The husbands are home. It's a lot of togetherness. I know. So we- <laughs> Sometimes it's too much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of togetherness. Uh, so <laughs> you have to, if, if you enjoy walking, if you enjoy just going to get a cup of coffee at the corner store, and, you know, something that's safe, but something that you want to do for yourself. If it's just taking, I'll say $5 and buying something from the dot from the 99 cent store that makes you feel good about yourself, do it, do it. Because, exactly. and, and this time we, we have to connect to something because our normal is so shaken up right now that we don't know where we're going next. Mm-hmm. So we have to create that next. Exactly. And uh, the first one, I mean, you, you can have people helping you, but, but you need to help yourself. The, the first yes. person is, uh, has to be you. Has to be and you self. can't help everyone else before helping yourself. Exactly. If you don't help yourself first, you're, first, you're, unhappy, you're unhealthy to help anyone else. So to lead, you have to be healthy yourself. So you have to take care of you. Have you ever had a day where you're just exhausted at the end of the day and you've done nothing for yourself? It's true. Yeah, it has happened. You've, you've given and you've given and you've given and you've given. And at the end of the day, you're exhausted mentally, physically, and emotionally. And you haven't done a thing for yourself. Yeah, you need to replenish yourself. And, and uh, yes. otherwise you cannot. Especially as women. Yeah. As women, we tend to put our families first. We put everyone else's needs first. And at the end of the day, we're simply exhausted and we don't have energy to even think. But we haven't done a thing for ourselves. Exactly. And it's, it starts and, from us. It and, starts and from... And if you go through that cycle... Yes, and if you go through that cycle long enough, 
it, it, it becomes tedious. It, it, you lose yourself and now you're not happy. Everyone else is happy, but you're not happy. Exactly. Exactly. No, it has to come and from... And that's very unhealthy. Yeah. And many people do that. And, uh, and they yeah. think that, you know, they until... I don't want to say it's too late or, uh, you know, they, they just crash, you know, either they have a yes. breakdown or, yeah. and, uh, or they get really or sick or they get really sick, or, you know, because, or they're overeating because they're compensating emotions with food. Their relationship with food is, it makes me happy. It makes me happy to eat, which is that it's really not the case. You're compensating for something else. And, and then it's when you're 300 pounds and you have heart disease and high blood pressure, it's, too, it's that's that too late point. Exactly. That's that too late point. And this is wonderful. This, um, this, um, so it's going to be an event, the one that you mentioned about all these uh, people, or it's, it's going to be a, like a club, like a, it's a place club. where people... It's a club. Oh, that's nice. It's a club. It's where wonderful. People can come and feel like they can connect to something or someone that understands them and what they're going through in these times. And I believe that we all need that right now. Yeah. And uh, is it going to be on Facebook? Where is it going to be? We haven't decided on which pal platform we're going to launch it on yet, but I believe the, we're, we're zoomed out. We're, we're <laughs> Zoom, we're zoomed out. So we're trying to try a new platform. So that, but have you heard... You know, have you heard of, I just found out, and I think it's been around for a year, but I just found out mm -hmm. and it's in its beta version. Uh, it's called Clubhouse. No, I haven't heard of that one. We okay. were going to use uh, Mighty Networks. And okay. with Mighty Networks, we could supply online courses. We could supply newsletters. That platform offers a lot of bells and whistles. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I heard of it. Yes. I, yeah, I like yeah. it. So I think that's uh, the platform we're going to use because uh, in life coaching, you need to stay, you need to have a continuous communication. Yeah. So with that platform, we can do online courses. So between sessions, the clients can go online and work work on the workbook or work on the course until the next session yeah that's uh, yeah i heard so of it it gonna, sounds yeah it sounds very uh it sounds very good yeah, I, that platform. and it's engaging uh it's an engaging club where it's not just you go to a meeting you sit and you listen no it's an engaging club we're going to have special speakers we're going to have comedians we're going to try to involve some kind of musical something it's going to be somewhere where you can come and enjoy yourself and not feel judged and just be yourself and feel like you're connected to something. I love it. I love it. I, I can't wait. Well, I can't wait, but can people see it already? Can you, you said that you um, have, no. oh, not I'm, yet. I'm working with uh, my partner, Scott Mason. I'm working with him and I'm going to get all the information and maybe we can do another interview before yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. the platform launches. Absolutely. And, uh, I'll have all the information, the platform, information the website everything will be up and going and i'll be so happy to share it with everyone and That's i'll be glad nice. for anyone to join us in our beta club and our beta project so we can see how this all works out i hope it's a great success i i believe it will be of course we have some of great course speakers coming we have some really great speakers no. coming we have some really great entertainment coming so i think i think it's going to be great it's a great concept. And, um, and what, and people have to like, uh, is there like a membership or something? I mean, how, how can. For the beta, for the beta, uh, no, for the beta, for the beta, no. no membership. No, no, it's no beta. And I think the beta lasts like six weeks. And after the six weeks, if you decide you want to join or you want to be part of our mission, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. But we're going to put it out there so we can, you know, get it out there and, see how people engage and see how and tweaks and you know it's a beta so yeah it's gonna take to see how things go yeah That's it's gonna take time and perfect it but we're working hard on it and I think we've almost got it there so after this beta run we'll take members and we'll move on from there yeah like a club like a special club where only people who strive for excellence yeah. want to be part of because you know some people don't some people exactly. they just want to exactly. exist 
and uh, we are, I don't know, yeah. I was born, I think it's like a bug inside my blood that, that I just want to be better. I always tell my kids, I said, <laughs> be better today than yesterday. Do something more, Do so- learn something yes. new, give, like help someone every day, a little bit more than yesterday. That's all I ask, you know, it's like yes. little yes. things because some, yes. because I can get very, you know, like very <laughs> exaggerated, but um, at least that, you know, know yeah. that today you learn something. I new. tell my kids to strive for excellence. If you're going to do it, do it all the way. Strive for excellence. Do, uh, do the best. Do the best you, you can. can. Do, do the best. And, and when they are like, oh, mom, I said, did you do your best? Yes. Okay. That's it. You know, okay. if that's you it. didn't do your that's best, it. then you have your regrets. You're like, oh man, I yes. could have studied more. I mm-hmm, could have done mm-hmm. this. But if you if you did everything you could and you just said, listen, I mean, that's it. I mean, you, you can do more than that. So, that's all you can do. So that's but I just a, want everyone to strive to be the best that they can be. If your best is, as long as you feel that you're at your best, that's, I'm happy. <laughs> that's, beautiful. that's beautiful. But I feel that everyone could st- Drive to be do a little bit more, as you said, and do a little bit more, help a little bit more. Strive for excellence. Yeah, and do some people need a push. Can. Some people need a push, and yeah. you are giving them the push. Yeah. You know, and because... some people just want someone to relate to. They want someone to relate to. They want someone to understand where they're coming from, to understand their dreams. And some people want have dreams and don't know how to get to those dreams. So I believe that my job is to help you attain your dreams, to help you move into that lifestyle that you want. That's wonderful. Yeah. And it's true. Some people, either they get, you know, uh, they're afraid or uh, one of the things is to be afraid of uh, failing. Like this is one of the main, you know, that we're like, oh, you know, but uh, if you don't fail, it means that you're doing nothing. So exactly. it's better to, you know, to try to fail. At least you did something, you know, you yeah. tried it, you failed, I, you keep um, going. And failing is, it's a, I don't like this word. It's like, it's not really failing because I tried so many so. things in my life and, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's how, experience. and it's how much you really want that thing. Because if you yeah. try it, you do something for a year, a year and a half, two years, you say, you know what, this is not for me. Yeah, that's it's not, called experience. That's not failing. That's just, you know, taking a break and trying something new. Yeah, you and fail. it's experience because you use that you use that failure. We'll, well, we'll call it a failure. It yeah. will, you use that failure to motivate you to do better the next time. Because you know now the way you did it the last time was a failure. Was, you failed. So now you know how to go about it differently. So it's not really a failure. It's a teaching lesson. Exactly teaching lesson that's beautiful and uh and the idea i mean i believe that you really fail like you really really fail when you don't do anything when you don't do anything yeah absolutely that's the true failure so well monica i'm gonna be honest with you (laughs) um i was in a very bad car accident and um the state of new york told me that i would never work again you know but uh i said no because I'm not going to live the rest of my life just doing nothing. If I have to start my own business and to move people into the direction that I've moved into, and a lot of people to move me into a space where I could strive for excellence. So I know that it can happen and I just want to help other people do what I did. That's amazing. And that's amazing because you have the reality outside telling you, no, no, that's it. You can't do yeah. this. And, uh, and, and I think many people don't, don't want you to succeed. I don't know, just because they didn't succeed or they didn't, or they think that they don't. So there's a lot of this negative energy that you need to be yeah. uh, you know, aware of and, yeah. uh, and have like a shield and say, yeah, no, and move away from I'm going to do mm-hmm. it and surround yourself. Yeah. yeah. And surround yourself with people that are positive that push yeah. you and they want the best for you yeah that's it yeah you know? i believe me when i said that i was going to do life coaching many people in the world don't understand life coaching uh, there's a lot of frauds out there that have not had any training that claim to be life coaches 
So when you say you're going to be a life coach, there are a lot of naysayers. There are a lot of people like, what's that? Why are you going to do that? You've gone to school so long. Why would you change now? But I feel like this is my calling. This is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So that's why I just moved myself right into a space where I can do what I think I need to be doing right now. Yeah, that's wonderful, Atosha. It's uh, you're very inspirational, and I hope that you know many, many, many people will will listen to your words. And uh, whenever they have doubts or things, you know, just keep going. If you feel, I think one of the hardest things is to find your calling and uh, and and see, okay, what do I really want? What do I really? What really makes me happy? You know, it's very sometimes it's hard to find. You know, you you do different things, and you you had it, and you you're doing it. So, you know, it's, uh, and it's not I easy. It's not like easy. Money. No, it's not at all. And I know people like money, like guide their way of living life. You, we can't allow money, our relationship with money, not even money because money can't do anything. It's an inanimate object. We, we can't let our love of money or our desire for money move us away from our happiness. Because many people are doing things in life right now just for money. And they're so very unhappy. And unfortunately, been, it's the majority of the people. This is the yeah. truth. The majority of people, they just do the, the work because they have to. I didn't want to say to. that. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 how it, it's how it is, yeah. unfortunately. It's like that. And they, they do it because they have to. And there are, I did, I did. I used to work yeah. for, for many years for something. And I, I did it I because did I needed, I needed I a visa. Mm-hmm. They were treating me badly. And, but I wasn't, yeah. but I wasn't, I didn't say, okay, this is going to mm-hmm. be my life forever. No, I said, okay, I'm going to do this because I really, really have exactly. to. But I'm getting out as soon as I can. I'm going to find the new thing exactly. because, exactly. I, you know, but some people, they just give up and say, well, this is it. You know, I, you know, I'm really good at this, but yeah, forget it. This is just my life. I'm just, well, we yeah, want you to, right, s- right, to snap exactly. out of it and, you know, and do what you love yes. and do what you were born to do. So, yes, uh, even if it's, ju- if it's just a hobby, you know, you don't have to do it for a living. If do something you love, if it's just a hobby. Do something you love if it just makes you happy for an hour out of a day. Do what you love. Even if you have that crappy job that you have to go to from nine to five, from six to seven, do something that makes you happy. Do something that one small step to move you into a happy space. Exactly. And if you can, um, I, I did that too. Like I was, one of my things is art. I create. So on the side, mm-hmm. I'm also mm-hmm. creating. And at, at one point, I, I said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do for life. You know, I'm going to be an artist full time. And now I'm doing both. Yeah. I'm trying to juggle both. I'm like between the nutrition, yeah. the health and, and the, but uh, if you're out there and, and you're in a job that you're stuck and you don't like it or, you know, it, it's, um, it takes courage, but uh, it's possible, you know, start slowly, Absolutely. slowly, you know, to move and, uh, and then move towards, because we have only one life. Um, yes. And uh, let's, make the ba- <laughs> let's make the best out of it. And especially if yes. you have a gift, you should share it yes. with the world. And I believe the world has, everyone in this world has a gift. We just have to hone, hone in on that gift and develop it. I believe everyone has a gift. If it's just a gift of speech, if it's a, sk- a gift of art, if it's a gift of anything, the smallest thing, anything. Anything, 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 all you you find that niche and develop it. Yeah, that's you. It, it it it'll make you happier. You'll live. I feel like someone said everybody has a life, but not everybody lives. So I want everybody to live, because when it's over, it's over. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Latasha. Well, I could talk to you forever. Uh, we're going to try to keep it, you know, yes. uh, under the 20 minutes, but um, it's, uh, it's wonderful. You're a very inspirational person and I uh, can't wait to, to test you, this, new, this new platform, this new um, uh, club that you're going to create. And, uh, I, yes. and I want to see you again because we have to continue and uh, we need to yes. keep on, you know, yes. talking. and. I will and have- more information i'll have more information and i'll have a definite date to start and i'd love to see you all at the beta 
Absolutely, absolutely. And um, and for all of you out there, you heard Latosha, you know, follow, follow your heart. And, uh, and yes. if you feel like you are, uh, you know, doing something that you, um, that you don't like, or start looking into yourself and saying, okay, what is it? What is it that, you know, really makes me happy? Okay. Yes. Something healthy Please. because it's okay. Eating is going to make you happy. Eating is not going to make you happy. I mean, you eat a no. little chocolate, like a little chocolate. Okay. If you love chocolate, eat a little chocolate, you know, not eat the whole thing, yeah. you know, and, exactly. um, and uh, learn to to do those little steps and, and drinking Small more steps. water, eating a little bit, you know, um, eat less meat or try know, 20 minute meals. Something, All your meals you know, should, should have should, should be your meals. You should not eat a meal that lasts less than 20 minutes, because if you eat a meal, you should at least take 20 minutes out of your day to eat your meals, at least 20 minutes. So in that way, your body has time to relax, digest and you, you won't eat as much. If you're eating subconsciously, you're looking at TV, you're writing, you're working, you're eating, you eat more than you should. It's true. It's true. So be there in the moment when mm -hmm. you're eating and, and savor every bite that you put in your yes. mouth so that you're going to yes. eat less and you're going to enjoy what you're eating. Yes. Not just, yes. you know. And um, so that's another wonderful tip. Well, so many tips, Latosha. Yeah. We, can, we can keep going forever. <laughs> so um, it was wonderful to have you here and I uh, can't wait to, to have you again. Um, yes. I want to know about your journey. And I, I love that you, what you're doing. I love that you're, you know, helping people uh, strive for excellence. This is a, a Thank wonderful Thank you so much, thing. Monica. Yes. So I wish you good luck. And uh, to all of you, thank you for being here. And until next time. Ciao, everyone. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>